let's practice adding our mixed numbers. So I have a problem on the board already. Nine and one eighth plus seven four fifths. So our first step is to find the common denominator, the bottom number, eight and five. Now remember that trick I showed you guys. If you can't think at the top of your head what a common denominator is, just multiply them two together to get your common denominator. So I know eight times five is 40. So I'm gonna use 40 as my common denominator and I'm gonna move my problem over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and write my nine because my nine doesn't change. My 40, my seven, because the seven doesn't change. So now I know, okay, 40 is my common denominator. Now I have to figure out, I have to multiply my numerator and my denominators. So how many times, um, sorry, what number times eight can go into 40? Five. So whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So now I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna put these answers right here. One times five is five. So that's my new numerator for over here. Now what number times five equals 40? Eight. So I'm gonna multiply this by eight and this by eight. I already brought my 40 over here. Four times eight. <clears throat> excuse me, is 32. Now, we need to add our whole numbers together. Nine plus seven is 16. And then we add our numerators, which is 37 and then our denominator stays the same and it is 40. So I use my first step. I found a common denominator by multiplying them together and my common denom denominator ended up being 40. Then I had to figure out what times 8 equals 40. It was 5 and whatever I did down here I had to do up top as well. And not only did I have to do that here, but I had to do this to this mixed number as well. I changed my fractions, moved them over here, and now my denominators are the same, so I just add straight across. Nine plus seven, 16. Five plus 32 is 37. And that is our answer. So let's take a look at another problem. One more. Let's do 52 plus three and seven eighths. So 52 and three and seven eighths. But wait, this one doesn't have a fraction, it's just a whole number. Well, guess what? You lucked out. You don't have to find a common denominator. Because if there's no fraction that's with the whole number, it's just like a zero. And anything plus zero is that number. So all we have to do here is add all whole numbers together, which is 55. And then we just bring this fraction over because it's not adding to anything. We got lucky there, 55 and 7 eighths. A few problems will be like this on your homework. This is actually number two for your homework. Now, if you have to simplify, say for example, if you did have something here and it was 4 eighths, I know four eighths can simplify. So I need to make sure I simplify. So I know it can be divided by four. 
which now equals 55 and a half. So I've noticed a few of you not simplifying. Guys, you have to simplify. That's why I told you before, um, before all this internet uh, learning started that you have to know your multiplication tables because it will really help you figure this out. It will really help you figure out how to simplify, what numbers can go into what numbers, okay? Now, you have an assignment, it's in your math book. You only have to do a few of them. But remember to look at not this video, but the previous video. So one, you get all of your rules and all of your steps. A review on how to change a, a improper fraction to a mixed number. And then for these examples as well. If you guys have any questions, message me. I can answer them, Zoom me, whatever you need, okay? I will be here. All right, get to your assignment. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.